Okay. Okay. Let me give you a analogy. What is reservoir routing? Reservoir routing. What is it? What is reservoir routing? Why is it so important? Let me explain what it is first before I explain why is it important. Okay, reservoir routing, you can visualize it this way. Imagine you have a bucket. Imagine you have a bucket. In this bucket, imagine this bucket is in your kitchen, in your house kitchen. So in your kitchen, you have a you have a tap. The water coming from the tap. And in this bu out bucket, there's an outlet with a wharf. You can control the amount of water that goes out. Okay? There's an inlet, there's an outlet. And this bucket, you fill it up with water. Okay? Now, reservoir routing, you can imagine it is a bucket. It's a bucket in your kitchen. You open the tap, you fill it up with water. And the water level will go up slowly. What happens if you open the tap? and you open the wharf, what happened? Yes, the water will flow out and the water level will go down. Right? So, depending on how big you open the wharf, if you open the wharf big, what will, ha what will happen? Asya? Faster, the water level will go down faster. If you make it small, slow. If you make it really small and close the tap all together, Huh? Increase the water level and then finally overflow. Overflow. So it's like your detention, your basin that overflow. Why it overflow? <coughs> because the outlet is small. Huh? So Reservoir routing is basically we're dealing with three things the inlet, inflow, the storage, and the outflow. That's reservoir routing. We, we're playing with three things. Yeah. We want the inflow, the inflow may be pre development. Maybe post development, the inflow from the catchment, we have no say. Right? We pass it through. We don't want the detention pond to overfill, right? If it overflow, then it will fail. Then cause problem. We don't want that to happen. We want it to stay safe. So we design the detention pond to be big. But not too big. Too big, there's no more land for development. Right? We want to keep it to a reasonable size, not too big. So we have to design the outlet. We have to design the outlet so that the storage will not overflow. And it will not overflow. And it's not too big. If it's too big, 
it's uneconomical, right? We want it to be just nice with some free port. Some free port. We want it to have some free port. You know? To for safety reason, right? So that's the overall thing, huh? It's just manipulating the inlet, inflow, and the outflow to balance out so that we still have the free port. You can think of it this way. It's a process where we, we, we play around with the inlet, the outlet, and the size you know, to achieve our objective. Our objective is not to flood downstream. Let's say you flow into the kitchen, the outlet, the pipe coming up from the kitchen. It's certain size. You don't want it to overflow and then wet the kitchen because your kitchen outlet uh, the part the part going out from the kitchen is only certain size if you got too much going out then your kitchen floor will be all flooded right so the certain cue there You can draw this diagram, copy this one into your notes. This is a very simple way of explaining what is reservoir routing. Now, the second question is why is it important? It is important because it provides temporary storage. Imagine without this, without this storage without this tank this bucket you open the tap your kitchen is going to be flooded it's your, because your outlet is too small right your, your outlet is only certain size so if you open this one the full capacity this one cannot cater but with the bucket you find that it can still cater because the bucket provide temporary storage. You see what I mean? The bucket provide temporary storage. If you open the tap, yeah, without the bucket, the the flow from the tap will be bigger than the outlet capacity of your kitchen your kitchen sink uh, let's say your kitchen sink the outlet is small you open this one very big the kitchen sink will be flooded your kitchen will be wet so you put in a big bucket in the kitchen this one can turn on this one will have some temporary relief Right? It will, if it's a big bucket, it can store maybe half an hour of flow and release it slowly. Yeah, the water still go out, but go out at a lower rate. You see, the water go out at a lower rate, so it will not overflow. 